Hi everyone. My name is Elizabeth. You might have seen me before at church. Today I'm going to be reading you a Bible story, and it's the story of Noah's Ark. And I'll be reading it to you out of this Bible, which was my Bible when I was about your age, and I'm sure you have one very similar to it at home or you've seen one before. So let's turn to the story. It's called Water, Water Everywhere. Soon, many people lived on earth, but everywhere God looked, people were sinning. Only Noah loved God. There's Noah, and there's everyone else. I'm going to send a big flood, God told Noah. Water will cover the whole earth. Every living thing will die. Noah listened carefully. I want you to build an ark said God. Noah obeyed God. Do you know what an ark is? An ark is a really big boat. So you can see here in the picture, Noah and his family starting to build the really big boat, the ark that God told them to build. Two of every kind of animal came to Noah to live on the ark. Then Noah and his family went inside. God closed the door, and the rain began. God sent rain for 40 days. Here's the ark, and you can see Noah and his family going on, and two of some animals. I think I see some giraffes and some camels and some sheep. Water covered the whole world. Wow, that's a lot of water. Then Noah sent out a dove to look for dry land. And one day, the dove did not come back. It is time to go out now, called Noah. Noah and his family thanked God for keeping them safe. God was pleased. He put a beautiful rainbow in the sky. This is a sign of my promise, said God. I will never send another flood like this one. And there's the rainbow. The end. Wow, that was a great story. Let's talk about it. Why did God want to send a flood to the world? Well, I think it was because Noah was the only person, Noah and his family, they were the only people who still loved and obeyed God. And it was time to start over for people to really love and obey God again. What did God tell Noah to build? He told him to build an ark, a big boat, just like here, right? Yeah. Did Noah obey God? He did, right? He, he built the boat just like God asked him to do. What do you think Noah's friends thought about that? He probably told them that God said that he would flood the whole world. And I bet they didn't believe that. They probably thought he was silly for building such a big boat on dry land. Sometimes it's hard to do things when other people think we're silly. But Noah trusted God and obeyed him. And then the rain came, right? Noah was right, and it did rain, just like God said. And it rained so much that it covered the whole world. It rained for 40 days. That's over a whole month. What did God put in the sky as a promise that he would never flood the whole earth again? Well, he sent a rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow? I have. They're really pretty, aren't they? I hope that every time you see a rainbow, you can remember God's promise, how much he loves you and the earth he created, and how he'll never flood the whole earth again. What can you do this week to love and obey God just like Noah? Well, I think a good place to start is to be, um, to listen to your parents and um, be 
kind and caring and share with your siblings and your friends and show love to them just like God would want us to do. Let's have a prayer together. Dear God, thank you for Noah's example of obedience and love. We are glad you kept Noah and his family safe from the flood. Help us to try to be obedient to you and love you more than anything else. Thank you for keeping us safe, just like Noah. In Jesus' name, amen. So, we just read the story of Noah's Ark. What did Noah put on his boat? Two of every animal, right? Do you guys have animals at your house? Do you have pets? Maybe a cat or a dog or a turtle or a fish? I bet those animals are on the ark. Do you ever act out stories with your toys? It's a fun thing to do. It's easy to act out the story of Noah's Ark with your toys, especially if you have animal toys like me. I brought with me two llamas. Llamas are one of my favorite animals. Do you have a favorite animal? You probably have a toy of it if you do. You can pretend, taking two of them, that they're walking onto Noah's Ark. You can even make the sound of the animal, but I don't know what sound llamas make. Hmm, I'll have to think about that one. I also brought some other animals with me. I brought two monkeys. And my monkeys are going on the Ark. And here I have two tortoises. My tortoises are walking on the Ark. It's fun to play with animals. Now I have a craft for us to do that's related to the story of Noah's Ark. When we're finished, it'll look kind of like this. See, it's the shape of a boat, like Noah's Ark. And you notice that the colors I put on it are rainbow colors, just like the rainbow that God made after the flood. Let's try it. So first, what you need is a coffee filter. They look like this. Most people have them. And in order to get it the right shape, you might need your parents to help you with this or a brother or sister. Fold it in half. And we're going to cut it into the shape of an arc. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but you can also draw the shape beforehand with a pencil to make sure it looks just how you want it. So it looks like this when I cut it in half and then I open it up and it's the shape of an arc. So now we've made our coffee filter into an arc. Next I'm going to decorate it with markers. In order for this to work, you have to use markers. And I, you can decorate it however you want, but I'm going to make mine rainbow to remind me of the rainbow in the story. decorate the whole thing or do kind of like what I'm doing and leave a space but I've I left a space so I can draw across because that's how I want mine to look and I think I'll also write my name on it here it is now you can keep it like this if you if you like it best like this, 
but I want mine to turn all rainbow looking like this one. So what I'm gonna do in order to do that is I've got a paper towel. I'm gonna lay it down. And then I'm gonna take my coffee filter arc and also put it down. Cause I don't want to get, we're gonna use water and I don't wanna get the table wet. So here I have my cup of water and my little dropper that I'm gonna use to put the water on. But if you don't have one of these at your house, you can always just sprinkle the water with your fingers. Okay, so I'm gonna get some water. I'm just gonna drop it on my marker. And the water in the coffee filter makes the colors of the marker seep out and blur together. So it looks like a rainbow. And if you want, I'm, I'm not gonna do this, but if you want, you can put water on the whole thing. I didn't put water in the middle because I wanted my name to stay. But when it's all dry, you can hang it in the window and the sun will shine through it and it will look like a rainbow. The story of Noah's Ark is a really cool story about the amazing things that God can do and how much he loves us and how much he loves animals in the world that he created. It happened a really long time ago, but it's awesome to talk about it now and learn the story and make crafts with it. I hope you can remember the story whenever you see a rainbow and think about how much God loves you and how he wants you to follow him your whole life.